experiment time. Today I'm going to experiment with baking sourdough bread with cake flour. What is possible? Is this just going to blow up in my face? Stay tuned. Hi, I'm Soon and I'm a food geek. Today I'm going to experiment with cake flour. Last week, I experimented with different flours with varying protein amounts. I'm linking the video in the card above if you want to watch it first. I'll wait here. They all got a nice open crumb except for the cake flour, which had a pretty tight crumb. At 60%, the dough was very stiff though, so I had a suspicion that we might be able to get a better result with a higher hydration. So today, I'm going to bake four different breads all with cake flour and only varying the hydration. The control will be 60% hydration, then 65, 70, and 75%. Are you excited too? I have no idea what to expect. If you're new to this channel, I bake a lot of sourdough bread and I make delicious food from all over the world. If you want to see more of this content, please join me by subscribing and ringing the bell so you won't miss any future videos. So the formula for each bread is exactly the same except for the hydration. I'll only use cake flour in each bread. The inoculation is 20%. The gluten that's in the starter won't affect the outcome since the gluten in the starter is already inactive and won't provide any structure for the bread. The salt content is 2%. I've linked the formula for each bread in the description if you want to study the details. If you'd like to support the channel, please consider becoming a member at Patreon. You can also buy some merch or use the links in the description for tools and ingredients. Those were the words. This is the experiment. This is not a recipe. It's an experiment. If you want to learn how to make sourdough bread, I recommend seeing my video on my master recipe for artisan sourdough bread, which I've put in the description below the video. First, I start out by mixing everything for the 60%. This is looking like it did in the previous video, no surprise there. Then I mix everything for the 65%. This is still so stiff that it needs to be kneaded. Then I mix everything for the 70%. This one is hydrated enough just to mix it with my hands. And then I mix everything for the 75%. Then all the doughs rest for an hour to develop the gluten. And then it's time for the first set of stretch and folds. Thank you. 
the second set of stretch and folds. and the third set of stretch and folds. Then I check the gluten development. <laughs> Not great. Much better, actually. Not bad. Eh. Then I put all the doughs into proofing containers and let them grow 25%. When they've grown, it's time to get them out of the containers. Then I pre-shape them. And I let them rest on the counter for 20 minutes. 
and then I final shape them. Then they go into the fridge for eight hours. And then it's time to bake them. First I dust it. Then I flip it. And then I score it. And then I bake it. And the other doughs are baked the exact same way. But let's just have a look at the doughs as they were scored. All right, let's get these suckers out of the oven. And now it's time for the crumb reveal. This looks as tight as in the last video. Great for jam. Wow, nice. It's a lively crumb without any huge holes. Holy smoke. Need I remind you that this is made with 9% cake flour? It's a bit on the flat side, so overhydrated, but a wild crumb nonetheless. Let's look at all four at the same time. Mm. 
Okay, it's time to look at a cross section of each bread. Interestingly enough, the middle cut was representative for the crumb throughout each bread. Wow, this is not what I expected. The 60% hydration one looked like it did in the other experiment, but the rest got a really nice open crumb. Okay, 75% hydration seems to have been a bit on the high side for this flour. It flattened a bit more than desirable, but not horribly so though. The cake flour only has 9% protein, but it's still held together and provided structure like a champ. I'm not sure if this experiment says more about what's possible with low protein flour or the flour quality in Denmark. Do you bake sourdough bread with low protein flour? What is your experience? Let me know in the comments. I hope you learned something today. See you next time.